Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some very interesting news for you. It looks like Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl are the exact same ROM. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I wish I was joking here, but I'm actually not. It turns out that both of these games are the exact same ROM. And what that means at a really high level is basically if you've pre-ordered Pokemon Shining Pearl, you've pre-ordered Pokemon Brilliant Diamond at no extra cost. And if you pre-ordered Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, well, you pre-ordered Pokemon Shining Pearl at no extra cost. You might be wondering, does that sound like two games for the price of one? And the answer here is technically yes. Now, from my understanding, this was found on an early access copy of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond by the folks over at Reddit Switch Pirates. I'll drop a link to their subreddit in the description below. Interestingly enough here, one copy of the game contains both versions. The only difference is that there's a flag in the game's code that determines what version of the game you're looking at. If you understand your way around coding, the folks over at Switch Pirates show you exactly how to do it, and they have multiple posts with step-by-step -step instructions. The unfortunate part about this news is that if you're playing these games on an unmodded Nintendo Switch, there's no way to toggle between versions of the game. You will have to go out and buy both versions of the game, and there's nothing you can do about it. Which means that Nintendo is basically making you buy four copies of the game considering each version has both copies on it. Now, if you're one of those people who pick up the game because you want to emulate it, well, one copy of the game here will technically get you both versions, and it's only $60 as opposed to $120 if you want to play these games on console. At the end of the day here, I am not quite sure how to feel about this. On one hand, I'm kind of shaking my head at Nintendo. You're basically forcing your customers to buy multiple copies of the game just to have access to both versions. And on the other hand, I kind of find it hilarious, especially if you're in the emulation community. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this whole thing in the comments below. Do you agree with this? Do you think it's funny? Are you upset about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.